Okay, what we are looking for today is the perimeter and area. Now, for a rectangle, not very difficult. If I have a base of, let's say, 10 and a height of 7, to find the perimeter, I'm going to, oh, let's make this, put some units on here, centimeters. To find the perimeter, I go around the outside of the object. There's many different ways you can calculate this. Since the top and the bottom of a rectangle are the same, you can take 10 times 2 is 20. Sides are the same. 7 times 2 is 14. Add 20, 14 together. Gets your perimeter. Or you can simply go right around the figure and add them up. 10 plus 7 is 27 plus 10. I'm sorry, 10 plus 7 is 17, plus 10 is 27, plus another 7 is going to give me 34 centimeters. Now the area is a bit different. The area we're looking for, how many square units are in the inside, how many square centimeters. So if I were to draw lines across one centimeter apart and lines down one centimeter apart, I'm counting up how many squares there would be inside. Now, you can do that, draw them all out, and that will take you a long time, or we can multiply length times width, because um, there will be 10 uh, squares going across the bottom, and they will be stacked 7 high, so 10 times 7. 10 times 7 gives me 70, so the area is 70 centimeters squared. Now, the neat thing here is if I take a straight edge and I'm going to divide my figure diagonally in half <clears throat> we can state that this side of the figure will have one half of that area and that area down here would be 35 centimeters squared so how do I find 35 centimeters square well if we're looking at this this half of the figure it is a triangle and to find the area of a triangle we would go area of a triangle equals one half the base times the height now we do need the height um, if a triangle isn't a right triangle like this one is because it's half of a rectangle then finding the height is important first so area perimeter of a rectangle, how to find the area of a triangle. The perimeter, we would have 10 plus 7 for the triangle, and we have to find uh, this third length, which is not listed here. But, on the assignment you're giving, it is. So if I take a look at this triangle, I have to find the perimeter and area. This is problem number 2. So the perimeter, I have 10 by 14 and it looks like an isosceles, so I'm going to say 14 on this side also. So that's 28 meters plus the 10 meters. That's going to give me 38 meters. So I'm going to say the perimeter is 38 meters. Now what's the area? 1 half base times height. Base is 10, height is 13. So I'm going to take 1 half of 10 times 13. That would be one half of 130. Uh, half of 130, 65. 65 meters squared. So I'm going to say the area equals 65 meters squared. Perimeter, area of a triangle. Perimeter, area of a rectangle. 